after getting blown out by the Nuggets, the Grizzlies are right back on the home floor tonight to take on what has to be considered the biggest disappointment so far in this NBA season. The Philadelphia 76ers, who limped into the forum an NBA worst 2-11, putting serious pressure on Joel Embiid. But for the first time this year, the Sixers tonight playing with all three of their big three, Embiid, Tyrese Maxey, and new addition Paul George. Jaron Jackson Jr. wide open with the corner three. And what a difference a night makes, right? Last night, the Grizz were a dreadful 9 of 38 from behind the line. Tonight, no such trouble. Back to back three from the rookie Jalen Wells. How about Desmond Bain from way downtown? That ties the game at 31 after one. Luke Kennard then opens the second quarter with a couple of quick triples. It was a quarter, though, dominated by Bain. Des, he has struggled with his shot since coming back from that oblique injury, going one for 10 last night. But in the second quarter against the 76ers, he looked like Dez. Three threes, 16 points. The Grizzlies lead 10 at the break. Embiid, he did have a season high 35 tonight, but Maxi struggled and George got hurt early. Triple J then goes across the lane to hit the acrobatic layup, plus the foul. 25 for Jaron Bain, 21, and five of the Grizzlies' 19 three-pointers up by as many as 19. It was closer than it needed to be, but the Grizz win 117-111. That makes Taylor Jenkins the franchise's all-time winningest coach with career regular season win number 215.